Ductless mini splits, also referred to as a ductless system or just a mini split system, are becoming very popular. They're an easy way to provide air conditioning and sometimes electric heating as well. Let me show you how these install. Here's a typical uh, single zone system where outside we would have the uh, condensing unit, which might look something like this. Inside we have the uh, air handler, and that's the part that mounts up on the wall that blows that heated or cooled air out into the room. It's operated by remote control, so just set that temperature for whatever you want and it will uh, heat or cool that area. Typically one indoor unit will handle uh, one or a couple of rooms nearby, but not an entire house unless it was a particularly small house. Now, the inside and outside equipment are connected together by a set of pipes, referred to as a line set. And uh, the indoor air handler mounts on uh, the inside of the home on a wall that has the outdoors on the opposite side of it. So there's a, about a three inch hole cut on the uh, wall or through the wall behind the unit that allows a uh, electrical connection and line set pipes to connect to it. Now, there's a couple of different styles. Uh, one, as I mentioned, can do just air conditioning, or there's another type that's called a heat pump, which is a special type of air conditioner that can actually run backwards in the winter to provide heating. There's a multi-zone system available, meaning that you would have one outdoor heat pump or condenser, and it would be connected to one, two, three, or more indoor air handlers. That would allow you to cover a larger indoor section of the home. Each indoor portion will have its own remote control, so you can independently control the temperature in those parts of the home. Here we have the outdoor condenser or heat pump. It sits on the ground or it could potentially sit on a roof as well. This would be the indoor part that mounts on the wall uh, in this position, up typically near the ceiling. It sucks the air in the top and in the front heats or cools that air, has a fan inside it and an evaporator coil, and then blows that out the bottom part here. We can see that there's louvers uh, to move the air uh, vertically as well as horizontally in here, and those are controlled by the remote control. The remote control additionally, of course, controls the temperature. So just set it for whatever temperature you want. It'll come on and off automatically as needed. The inside and outside equipment are connected together by a set of line set. The line sets are two copper pipes that are flexible and they're insulated with rubber on the outside. And the ends of them have flare fittings, which make them really easy to install. And we can see we have a flare fitting connection on the outside unit. Uh, we have flare fittings on the line sets themselves, which will allow us to simply screw those on. And then the back of the unit is where the line set connects to. And again, we have two connections, a large one and a small one, where the, it will screw onto. And then the high voltage electric goes through the back of the unit. Uh, the parts that come with the kit are the outside part, the inside part, and you'll have more than one inside part or inside air handler if you get a multi-zone. Each inside part also comes with one remote control. The line sets are sold separately, and they come in a few different lengths. Pick the lengths that are best for you. Some of the great things about uh, ductless mini split systems are that they do not require ductwork in the home or in the building to provide the heating or cooling. Again, that heated and cooled air blows directly out from the indoor air handler. And so that makes them especially useful for homes that have a heating system that do not have ductwork. Or if you have an addition on a home like a sunroom, uh, they're great for use there as well. And compared to a window unit or a motel style, often referred to as a PTAC unit, they're particularly quiet because the indoor equipment and outdoor equipment are separated from each other. The outdoor part would be the noisier of the two, and that's away from you. So uh, that's one of the advantages of these units as well. Additionally, they're pretty darned easy to install. Uh, they use the new type of refrigerant, which is R410A, which means you do not have to be EPA certified to handle it. So you could do technically the entire installation yourself. Although for practical reasons, you'll probably want to have a contractor do the last 5% of the air conditioning uh, startup sequence because he'll have the tools and the know-how to do that easily. If you need a contractor, we can help you do that. We offer uh, our contractor assistance program to you when you buy one of these. We can help you find a contractor who can do all or part of that installation for you if you like. Additionally, you get our unlimited technical support by phone, our warranty backup, free delivery.
and as always, our low price guarantee. If you have any questions, give us a call. We'd love to help you out. Thank mm -hmm. you.